Hi, my name is Leah. I'm a senior this year and I'm going to go over everything you need to know for the M fundraiser. So to start, an, an M is $35 for a new one and $30 for a touch up. The gold team needs to sell at least seven and the purple team needs to sell at least five. For gold squad, if, you want to go to, if you're going to camp, you can sell an additional seven to pay for that, but that is totally up to you. Um, so first you need to find your buyers. Uh, good, place, good places to look are your neighbors, family members, teachers, and local businesses. And most of the time if you ask, they'll say yeah, um, and that is that. So once you have who you're gonna paint, you need to fill out the Google form. The Google form is in the letter that you received uh, at the parent meeting, and then also Nikki sent it out to you through an email. So it is like linked in the, um, the letter. So you need to fill out all fields of the form. Don't leave anything blank. So that includes the email address and the phone number and all of that stuff. So make sure you just fill all of that out because we need that. And you also need to have all of that information for yourself. We're not gonna print out all of your responses. So make sure you have that. So then when you do start painting, you have their email address and their phone number and their street address and all of that. Um, and then also if you're, you're struggling finding people to paint, we do have a list from uh, previous years and then also we post it on like Facebook and Instagram and all that stuff of people that want an M painted that don't necessarily ha know a girl on the team or know someone on the team. So make sure you reach out to um, Lori <laughs> France and uh, her uh, info is in the letters. Okay, so once you've filled out the Google form, you've gone through all of that, you need to contact Lori Franz and her contact info is once again in this letter and then it will also be like on the screen or something like that. Um, you need to contact her to set up a time to paint. You have to do this a little bit in advance. We don't have a lot of stencils. We don't have a lot of supplies. So you need to make sure you're doing that a little bit in advance. Um, so once you come, you're gonna need a truck. Most SUVs, it doesn't fit in there. The stencil's pretty big. So just try and get a truck. If you don't have one, we'll figure something else out. But yeah, you need a truck. Once you get here, we will have a laundry basket, a, um, a broom, broom. <laughs> a broom and a stencil and then we'll also have a bucket of rocks for you and I'm gonna go through everything that is where you're, you're gonna have and so you'll need space for okay so to start in the laundry basket there's a folder the folder will have the letter that you received at the team meeting and then it'll also have a um, envelope that you're gonna put your money in it's labeled M money pretty straightforward with that put the money in the envelope and then when you come back make sure you just put it back in the folder so we know where everything is and then you're also going to have your paint color is gloss marigold and uh, gloss grape if you want if someone wants specialty colors um, that's fine but we cannot reimburse you for any other colors other than these so what you what you get is what we have and then you're also gonna have um, a roll of paper towels and a receipt book and a pen. Okay, so I'm gonna briefly go over how to fill out the receipt book because it's kind of important. <laughs> and um, if you don't know how to, that's not a big deal. We can go over it when you come as well. Okay, so there's a piece of cardboard in this. You're gonna put the cardboard behind, there's a white receipt and a yellow receipt. You're gonna put it behind the yellow receipt like this. And then you're gonna fill it out like that, like you put the date and all that fun stuff. And it's gonna transfer automatically on to the yellow. You're gonna give the white once you filled it out to the customer and leave the yellow piece in there. As far as how to fill it out, it's pretty straightforward. It's kind of like a check. Um, once again, if you don't know how to fill it out, let us know, we can totally go over it when you come. And then you also, like I said, have the broom and the stencil and then the rocks. Okay, so this is the stencil. It's pretty big as you can see, but you know, yeah. <laughs> and then when you get to where you're painting, sometimes it's a new M and so there's not an M there. And you need to like ask the uh, purchaser where they want it, have them come out there and like literally show you and you'll set down the stencil and move it around for them. So that you can kind of see where their M is gonna be located. And yeah, <laughs> okay, so this is the top of the stencil and then it comes up like this, 
so this is the bottom of the stencil and we'll go through how to use the stencil as well okay so the first thing you're gonna do is you're just gonna sweep the area off because it's a driveway and it's not clean okay and then once you're done uh sweeping the area you're gonna move pick up the stencil and move it over so it lines up correctly okay so it should look something like this when you've done and you've moved it and stuff like that and then so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your purple and you're going to shake it up make sure it's all good and you're just going to do a very like faint outline around the edges of the stencil this is so then you can see where the gold stops and the purple starts you'll see it more Okay, so now you're gonna flip up the stencil so you can see the whole M and you're just gonna take the yellow and you're gonna go from where you just painted that purple line to the outside of the stencil. And uh, some people use the bricks for this part. We kind of just prefer the painting our feet method. It's a little bit faster, but if you do use the bricks, you literally just take it and set it on. You use the bricks or your feet because the stencil doesn't lay flat or most of them don't on the driveway. So you need to kind of uh, compensate for that and push down on the stencil. Good. Okay, so once you've painted the gold, you're going to let it sit for a, maybe a minute or two just to let it dry so then we don't get paint all over the stencil. Okay. So make sure you have someone, this is a two person thing, make sure you have someone standing on, <laughs> on the stencil so then it doesn't move while you're flipping the front piece down. Okay, so now you're just gonna take the purple and you're gonna fill in the whole thing. Okay, so when you're filling it in, make sure you're pushing down these edges. As you can see, it kind of sticks up with, sometimes people use the end of the broom, as you can see, or I just use my feet or bricks work sometimes whatever you want to use but make sure you're just pushing it down so then you don't have uh, bleed through between the purple and the gold okay. Okay. make sure when you are uh, painting that you're using kind of longer strokes and not focusing too much paint in one area otherwise there's a little bit of bleed through what it's gonna look like when it's all filled in okay so when you're done you're gonna need two people one person on each side you're gonna lift straight up and then you're gonna move it and set it down as you can kind of see what we did here make sure you're not dragging it because your paint's still wet and you don't want it to bleed and move and stuff like that but this is what it's gonna look like when it's done yeah sometimes people take a piece of cardboard and kind of touch up the edges because it bleeds through a little bit but 